I think I want to start this one off with, um, I don't want to convince anyone. I don't want to um, persuade anyone. What I want is to help those people that are searching. I want to help those people that um, are looking for answers. I want to help those people that have an open mind and want to learn. Uh, and that's really what I've always been about. I said in the early days on my thread, um, on the partner output coil thread, I'm not here to show anyone my figures. I'm not here to persuade anyone. I'm here to try and help um, and to try and uh, start a community of good people that want to do this together. I, I'm not here to convince anyone that chooses not to believe or chooses to believe that it's all fairy tale and and madness. Uh, that that's not. I don't even want to associate with those people. Those people are beyond help. And in most instances, their new car's just been paid for by the last big energy boss. So that's not what I'm here for. I don't want that. Um, and I hope that's clear to everybody. I hope it's clear to those people that um, have come to the thread that I created and created issues. Uh, I hope it's clear to anybody that's read and disagreed with something that I've said, uh, mostly out of context. I hope it's clear to to everybody that all I've done is tried to share uh, known concepts that work. Okay, but about roughly about three years ago, uh, the G led became popular, was was sort of put onto YouTube and become popular in some of the forums. Um, this is one of the first ones that I know of. Unfortunately, I don't speak Russian, so I can't understand what the um, what the guy's saying. Uh, in scrolling down, um, this translated basically translates to. <clears throat> Uh, generator of non-linear inductance reconstruction of the circuit and PCB. Uh, I guess could have asked the question, reconstruction from what and from where. Um, it does turn out that some of the stuff, believe it or not, has actually come from Andrei Milinchenkov. Um, originally, um, going back maybe 2004, something like that, um, I'm only guessing he released some information um, which led, in my opinion and from my research, <clears throat> led to the GLED. There's some pretty good papers out there and uh, we'll have a look at them now. Okay, unfortunately I don't have this in uh, English, so I could do a translation, but I've always found that translation is not very accurate, always anyway. Um, so even though you do do a translation via Google Translate or something, you might not really get the right story as such. <clears throat> anyway, it turns out we can get enough information from the schematic. Um, this is the idea. This, I believe, came from the early uh, Andre Malenchenko uh, website. Um, so it's it's showing the basic concept here. Uh, we're showing three inductances, um, currents in each inductance, uh, one in reverse direction and two in the forward direction. Um, there's no uh, concept here of um, negative power factor that I've been able to see. Um, the negative power factor doesn't really, um, it's not really very visible in the in the document or in the schematics. <clears throat> and the Google Translate that I have done uh, doesn't really talk about it much. Um, so you can see here again we've got three wires, we've got equivalent spins, um, two in one direction, one in the opposite direction. Um, and we see here that um, there is the H field um, that's being uh, talked about. So H1 plus H2 plus H3 equals H3. <laughs> uh, anyway, we see um, a four-tier level um, above the um, the zero point, if you like, 
vertical line, uh, and then a two-tier level down here. So they're they're essentially trying to indicate this three times the power, um, or twice the power, I should say. Uh, twice the power here is is what there is there. Uh, it's an interesting document. <clears throat> Again, they're talking about currents here. So I being the current. Um, there's no real mention of voltage. I mean, we see a voltage here over a voltage there. Uh, w, I'm presuming it means watts, P being power. Uh, and then some pretty good photos. Um, this obviously is the GLED that we just had a look at. Um, it's a variant of it. Um, I've studied this photo for quite some time and um, unfortunately there's just not enough information to be able to get any decent information from. Um, again, no full schematic released other than these and they don't really say very much. There's various different names associated with the release of these papers. I'm presuming that Andre Molenchenko uh, worked with various different people that helped him out. And again, we're just looking at the DC pulse waveforms with spikes and everything else in it. So I believe the GLED, the basis of the GLED, came originally from Andre Malenchenko and his uh, and his friends or his associates. Um, he was absolutely hammered by so many people. That poor guy um, copped a, a, an absolute hard time from the media, from, from everyone, and I, I just think it was so unfair. Um, he tried the best he could to do a good job, uh, and he has. He's done a brilliant job, but he he was just absolutely hammered to the wall, which just wasn't fair. Poor guy. Uh, I know that he's tried to start two different websites up, um, and one of them shut down pretty quick, had a lot of information on. The second website didn't have very much information on, wasn't quite as good of a website. Um, under a different domain name, I believe. I think it was andremelenchenko.com. Are you, I think, or something. Anyway, um, it wasn't quite as good, and as far as I know, it might even still be there, so worth having a look, do a search on them. Uh, this document is also on the same website. Uh, it has similar, uh, similar, it talks about similar things, and it also talks about, um, or it shows the same graphics. Um, I personally find this a very good document. I have a few friends um, that are in either EE or scientific backgrounds um, that don't agree with this document. Um, I, however, have read a few things that really have caught my eye. Um, this uh, this document is um, a very good correlation to some of the other um, reference information that I've read. Um, now, there's a couple of things in here I want to show you once I scroll through it and show you the whole document. And again, GLED in there. So, first of all, I think the opening sentence is fantastic. That, to me, spells the whole thing out clear as day. Uh, false step more than once led to a discovery of new roads. Um, now, in here they talk about um, increasing the magnetic field. Uh, so, a stack of three flat circular permanent magnets the energy total uh, is increased by nine times. Uh, so three squared is nine. Uh, Floyd Sweet's a bit of a genius, so I could go through and read his papers all day, every day. If I told you how many times I already have read his papers, you'd laugh at me. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so if we just have a quick look here, uh, the underlying principle for Get Millikan's experiment has been derived that the magnetic effects vary on the square of the current. Um, so basically what he's saying is the same as what we've just seen. Also the other very interesting thing, total energy of a standing electromagnetic wave can be many times greater than the energy of the waves and the electromagnetic field to add. 
Um, there's some pretty cool math behind that. I think we might just very go very quickly into some ba basic math. Um, okay, this is some pretty cool math. Um, standing harmonic waves. I'll let you read this if you want to pause the video and go through it. Um, basically, what this is doing is it's taking each one of the waves, um, it's adding the waves together uh, using some trigonometry. It um, passes and simplifies uh, into this equation. Um, this is broken up again into two pieces. Uh, so sine kx determines the shape of the standing wave and two uh, a cos omega t determines uh, the amplitude or how the amplitude varies with time. Uh, now this is something that we've heard of before. This is something that um, you just can't pass this stuff by. This, this is really important stuff and I'll play this video again for you just to um, uh, just to show the importance. I have what's called a pump wave. A2 and A1 are two waves generally opposing each other. And so they've got energy in them. I either add them or I can get somebody else to give them to me for free. In this medium, that will act this way. And then what I do, I put in a little signal, A4. It's called a signal wave. And out comes a big A3 which is called a phase conjugate wave. It'll come out of there and backtrack. It has an invisible memory of where A4 is supposed to come from, and back over it'll go, even to the other end of the universe. It'll order the vacuum. It'll start making gravitons all along there. If I put in lots of energy, I can have all the energy coming out in A4. So I've got an amplifier. I've got a, a triode here. I call this a vacuum triode, if I get the vacuum to pump it. I want to call your attention to the fact that stress is opposed vector forces, summation of a whole bunch of opposed vector forces, either two or more. That's what stress is. It's starting to display sesh. The wave moves forward and back in the wave tank. And it slowly dissipates.
So I just want to close, um, I'm not going to make this one very long, you get the basic idea. Um, I just want to close and say there's a lot of people out there that don't want to learn, that don't want to understand, there's a lot of people out there that prefer to stay fat, dumb and silly as Tom Hedden used the term uh, and that's fine, I've got no problem with those people but um, you know, for those people to come along and to stop or to try and disrupt um, other people uh, is pretty outrageous really when you think about it um, some people just will never learn some people will there's some extremely bright dumb people out there and there's some super duper intelligent people out there that just stay quiet um, and, and these people will know who, who I mean um, this is super important technology. We we can't let this go. Um, in a few more years, it might be the case that we may not even have some of this technology at our fingertips. Uh, so if we don't do it now, we may lose this forever. Um, it is so important that we grasp this, that we learn it, that we do everything we can with it um, and move ahead. Um, this is the third video in the series. I'm going to call this quit, uh, quits on this series. Um, so I just want everybody to know what's going on. I want everybody to know that the um, majority of people that have done investigations in this area and read their uh, uh, head up <laughs> uh, and screamed, this is all fake, this is all rubbish and everything else, they clearly don't know what they're talking about. They clearly have not investigated it properly. They clearly do not know what to look for. Uh, they clearly are so far out of their depth that, that it's just not funny. So stay open-minded.